Hi, I'm Susan Herman with the Catholic Company. And today we've gathered some folks in the office to talk a little bit about Pope Benedict XVI. And this is Whitney Hetzel, one of our employees. So Whitney, um, is there anything special or um, unique about Pope Benedict XVI that you want to share? I would just say that um, for me, Pope John Paul II was who I would say the sort of the Pope of my conversion. I converted in 1991. And so sort of in the heart of John Paul II's uh, papacy. And so for, for me, he was sort of a personal connection to, um, you know, to the seat of Peter. I felt for some odd reason that I had a connection to him in terms of, you know, his charisma and his personality. He was a great outdoorsman and his motto, be not afraid, you know, was, was just something that, I, that resonated with me, especially mm -hmm. as a mom and as a, as a wife, mother. Um, raising my children. So in that sense, that is Pope Benedict XVI represented a little bit more in the maturity of my faith as I grew in my knowledge of Catholicism and what it meant to be a Catholic and a Christian in the world today. I turned to Pope Benedict XVI even before he was Pope as, as Cardinal Ratzinger. I think he, his writings, um, what it means to be a Christian and his writings about Jesus of Nazareth and mm -hmm. sort of um, in a lot of ways, although he was a very intellectual and scholarly man, and even as Pope, people think of him that way, I found that his writings were attainable and that he was an accessible Pope. And um, so I'm grateful to him, um, especially in terms of bringing about the, the sense of who God is as Father, Jesus as his Son, and that's who, how we get to know the Father is through Christ. And you know, he, he really has a lot of wonderful things to say about that. So. Great. Well, thank you very much. Yes.